makes me want to smash all my instruments up. Why should I get so used to something that never used to be like that? Here I am, folks, in Paris. I've spent thousands of pounds this year in instruments that just crack and just crack, and this now makes sense. Get on the bus! It's just coming up to midnight on a Sunday night. I've just tried to do a gig this afternoon. My clarinets were awful. The only place I can go and get a clarinet from is in Paris. A decent clarinet. Booked a flight, I'm going tomorrow. Clarinets keep cracking. I've been to all the top places in London, but they haven't got what I need. So the only answer is to fly to Paris where they've got everything. That's where I'm off to now. Paris on my day off. Wonderful. Another trip to Paris. The last clarinet that I actually liked I bought in Paris to the best clarinets. You know, uh, Selma's there, which I love Selma clarinets. Uh, Buffet's there, who I don't really like. The quality is always good out there. So that's why I made the decision to just book a flight and get out of here and just sort it out. I get so frustrated with it. And people go, oh no, it sounds fine. It sounds great. At the end of the day, it's how you feel. I'm a perfectionist who's never ever gonna be happy with their pain. So with that in mind, maybe I'm fighting a losing battle, but I think you've always got to try to, to get it to what you want. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Trying to explain that to someone, I'm saying this doesn't feel right. It might sound right, but it doesn't feel right how I'm playing. It's the most frustrating thing in the world. It's just like, uh, makes me want to smash all my instruments up. Why should I get so used to something that never used to be like that? You know, something's going wrong somewhere. Lovely. Merci. Merci, au revoir. Here I am, folks, in Paris, right in the middle. So I've arrived here, and I didn't bring a clarinet with me because I'm coming to get one. Someone said, ah, oh, do you want to do a gig tonight? And so someone's gone and got me a clarinet, but I don't know whether I like it or what I'll do, so I'm just about to find that out. But I'm going to check in to my hotel right away. Hotel Mazagran. People don't moan about small spaces in Paris. They just fit so much in. The architecture is wonderful. If you've never been to Paris, a few people who surprised me the other day said, I've never been to Paris. That amazed me. Um, make sure you go. You know who you are. You know what I was saying about people in small spaces? Welcome to the lift. I can barely fit in the lift. Look at that. There we go. Well, actually, it's quite a big room. Considering it's in the center of Paris. Nice. Not a bad little room for 60 euros, is it? Booked about an hour ago. Hotel rooms are funny, aren't they? Because nine times out of 10, people leave the hotel room. So you're just paying to have a room, just paying for storage, basically, and somewhere to sleep. You know, do you like the way I did that? Pro. That's why I would like to get a nice hotel and not go out. Many times I've been on gigs, people will tell you, you know, uh, I remember we played in Tenerife. We were there for a week on this a beautiful hotel with every hotel room was a suite. And from the moment we set foot onto the place, we were there for eight days. I didn't leave. I didn't leave. There was no need to. Why, why would you leave? Just stay at the hotel. I am that kind of person though. I think some people completely just cannot fathom the amount of traveling that I do. To be honest, I don't find traveling problem it's just, you've got to get somewhere you just try to get there you know, you just do it you know and someone was saying oh surely you can find a clarinet in the uk all right there's one that i might like which is down in bristol that's definitely brighton where i went to bristol it's going to cost me about 80 quid i get there if i try it and i don't like it there's nothing else to choose whereas in paris there's loads to choose from and lots of the shops are the thing that i might like plus it's cheaper to get here do you know what i mean and quicker you know, sometimes you have to look at that option. Just get on a plane. Get on a plane. I mean, this is my, what, fourth, third or fourth flight this week. Got another, got another one on Thursday out to Israel. Get on with it. I think a lot of people moan about stuff. 
I suppose if you're not used to it, then there's that. So there's a session in town called Paris Jazz Sessions. They hold a Monday night jazz club type session at Vino e Cucina. It's run by my friend Nuncio, who I messaged last night and said, ah, I've got to come to Paris and I've got to get a clarinet. I've got to sort out stuff. And he just sorted out everything for me. He's been to a clarinet shop today. And he's got me something that I can borrow to play tonight and things like that. So years of touring around and traveling, I've met so many great people traveling the world and making friends, not just, all oh, right, how you doing? Like these are people, if he called me and needed help, I'd help him out. I'm looking forward to the day I can help him out because he keeps helping me out more than I help him. But he's got a wonderful place here. And if you're ever in Paris, you must go and follow it. I've put it in the description, uh, the, the restaurant and all about Paris Jazz Session. Go and check it out, go and follow them, follow the YouTube channel, watch some of the videos. Hey! hey. Look, I'm just filming for my YouTube channel. Oh, hey. everybody. Hey. hey, you're the best man. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? It's wonderful to see you. So, folks, this is the place where you have to be on a Monday if you want to watch the best music in town. Here is where it all happens. We're buying bread. Uh, what kind of bread are we buying? We are buying baguette. Ah, baguette. Sometimes you have to find five minutes to have a sleep. That's what I'm doing now. So I just played a whole gig in Paris and I played on a clarinet and I, I kind of liked it. I felt it was all right, but still not the thing for me. So tomorrow is going to be an interesting day. Un petit bout So the first place I'm going to is Van Doren. Van Doren are the company who make clarinet reeds and they make clarinet mouth. Now I have a problem with my ligature. And the trouble is if you start using something that you really like, you can't go back to something else. Being someone who always has to try and get the best things or the latest things, that's where I'm at. Now my thing doesn't work. I've had to come back to Paris where, where I'm gonna have to just see if they're gonna replace it. They should do, I'm a Van Doren artist, so we're gonna suss it out. So how do you go about picking a new clarinet? I know as soon as I pick it up. In all the years of touring, never toured lots in France. We had bad manners, we toured. Never come out here and done, oh yeah, we're back in France again, back in France again. But I've noticed of recent that's changed. Bands like Cancer Smitties are coming out here. A sort of jazz case that was out here. There's a place called Duke de Lombard, which is like the body Scots. More bands are coming into France now and playing. So that was me done at Van Doren. So I had to get the ligature changed and uh, they also weren't happy with me about promoting something else. <laughs> but they understood my point of view, which is good. Pretty good at putting a point of view across. <laughs> Okay, so I just popped into Selma very quickly. Uh, the person who knows about the vintage instruments isn't gonna be there till two. So I'm gonna head off to go and try some other things. Le Coin de Bois, another clarinet shop. This is the lady Beatrice who lent me the clarinet. <laughs> So I'm trying a hell of a load of clarinets here. We've got um, Selmas and Buffets. We've got new clarinets. We've got secondhand clarinets. Uh, there's a buffet called a Green Line. Green Line model is right here, which is made out of a material that isn't going to crack. Very handy for me, but it's whether the bore size works. <laughs> So I've tried loads of clarinets and I've got a buffet green line. So this won't crack. It's a brand new instrument. I can't remember when I last bought a brand new instrument, but I'm going to get it. I've spent thousands of pounds this year on instruments that just crack and just crack. And this now makes sense. And it's the same clarinet, same RC Prestige. I used to play one. Uh, I played one for maybe four years until it cracked. A wooden one. So um, 
So a successful day. Mind you, I've still got to go and play it in a band. So that worked out well. I've just bought a clarinet. Everything that I would never have bought, and I bought it. Why did I do that? It felt good. It's a buffet, which is great. It's a green line, which will never crack. It's a good idea, you know. As somebody who cracks clarinets, you know, I've done six or seven this year. Gotta try it. It's cost a bit of money, but brand new clarinet. So time for me to leave Paris, back to the UK. This week, off to Israel on tour. So. Thanks for joining me on this trip to Paris, folks. Don't forget to click like and subscribe and share and all those things, because it all helps. But you're all lovely. Thank you. See you soon.